This morning on today's checklist, we're going to help put a spring in your step. If you're planning to be more active now that the weather's changing, we got to prepare our bodies. So here to show us how to avoid some common injuries is board-certified clinical specialist in orthopedic physical therapy, Karina Wu. Karina, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So warm weather. Everybody says, "All right, I'm getting in. I'm going out there," and we all we go all in, like really intensely, and that's that's not a great idea, is it? It's not a great idea. Warmer weather means more outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. And what happens is the people are not, they're overdoing it. Mm -hmm. They're doing too much. So the most common injuries we will see are everything from the low back down. That includes pulled quadriceps, mm -hmm. hamstrings, uh, and calves. That's mm -hmm. just walked into my office just this week. Oh, my goodness. And what happens is with outdoor activities, there's a lot of repetitive lower body movements. And the body needs to propel itself, catch the body weight, absorb forces. If you are not conditioned, you're not trained, it's the last run of the day or the trip, that is when you get these soft tissue strains. So you are, obviously, you do physical therapy. So are there any exercises you can do to either prevent that or keep that from happening, heal it on the other end? What can we do? Dynamic stretches are a great way to warm up and to prevent these springtime injuries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dynamic stretches are great. They bring blood flow to the muscle. Mm -hmm. They help prepare the body for the activity because mm -hmm. they oftentimes incorporates the movements of mm -hmm. that. You said sport. dynamic stretch. Dynamic. Okay, so, so what's let me back up. I have heels. Okay. We are Maybe moving. we start with some hip circles? Yes, yes Show us we the do. Hip circles. So we start with hip circles. That opens up the hip joint. You can do this too, Chanel. Yeah, okay. You don't have to do... Yeah, I'm like, you know, yep. I'm messed up today. You'll be fine in those heels. Okay. So hip circles, this opens up the hip joints and loosens up the muscles that around good. the hips. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Correct. May not and look great. I was going to say, it looks No, these are great. But in the white pants, everything looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a hip circle. You go clockwise, you and go counterclockwise. Okay. Exactly. And how many would you do? You do five to eight. You're okay. just warming up that joint and loosening up the muscle. I've so done that they 25. Can that looks ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> the how about next exercise. Hip circle, monster uh -huh. walks, right? Monster walks. So this is a leg swinging exercise. Arms are coming straight out. Think Frankenstein okay. monster walk. So your leg is swinging up to the hand. Oh, man. Here we this come towards you. Ow, that oh, hurts. Yep. And oh, so you're going to get Greg, a you big got, you stretch. Look at that. Greg's got big his stretch. fingers. Keep I didn't think those things were stretched like that. Oh. They're stretched. Oh. Yeah. Big stretch from what the What does that do? All the way down to the calves. Uh -huh. It's a big stretch on the posterior chain, they call okay. it. If you, if you can't kick that high, what's the modified? So then this would be great for abbreviations and mm -hmm. modifications. Just go within your range. Oh, Feel okay. for that first oh. resistance. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it like the pros right. do it. Why are you putting your hands when up? You get, What's that about? Because it's for balance. I see. A little oh. counterbalance, and it yeah. helps keep your torso upright. Okay. That's a good so you one. isolate to the glute down way. to the calf. Now, this next one is something Craig would like to do to me. A butt kick. Okay. You are it trying would. to kick your own butt. Oh. So heel is neck. coming up to the butt. It's no, not happening. It's a stretch to the front of the thigh, which is your quad, and it turns on your hamstrings. Should we do? So we are doing this oh, okay. so really literally try to kick yourself in the butt with your heel Got it. so you could do it walking yep. like a little bit more stationary mm -hmm. which works the range or Feels you like could stretch, turn yeah. on and bring the blood flow because you're literally doing it quickly yeah. okay like this, okay this is a big one with track and field people all right so this this okay. final exercise you have something to help with balance a little bit this this one is a big stretch from the low back all mm -hmm. the way down to the tips of the toes it's a walking toe reach so you're gonna step out with a heel down straight knee reach for your toes and pull up those knee high socks oh. so oh. pull them up touch oh, your yeah. toes really one. reach for it mm -hmm. and drag oh, your I can hands feel that. Against the sides of the for your calf. hamstring or hamstring calf Calves, gets like your calves nerve too. because you're bending forward on this one. How it, often should we be doing these? These are great for warming up for activity, mm -hmm. but stretching could be done daily. Okay. Oftentimes people are a little stiff when they mm -hmm. start stretching, so work in your range, know your limits, and don't tr like ease into it. Mm -hmm. Gradual return is right. always a safe bet. Hey, doctor, you mentioned a lot of people are coming in with injuries. What about? What can you do to speed up recovery from some of these injuries if if you've already pulled something? So if you've already pulled something and you're and you're not seeing a healthcare provider, mm -hmm. rest because soft tissue tissue injuries are what you are using all the time. So rest, ice for swelling, kinesiology tape mm -hmm. helps oh. for support, uh -huh. pain reduction, and fluid movement. How do you know ice versus heat? Oh, sorry. Good so question. If there's swelling and it's an acute injury, which means sudden and a lot of sharp pain, you want ice because ice numbs it and reduces your perception of pain. Okay. Uh -huh. Ice. <laughs> Rest. Right. Ice. Well, actually, it's a different acronym now, but we'll go into okay. that later. Uh, <laughs> really quickly, uh, uh, Pickleball. A lot of people trying to get into yes. pickleball. And I'm hearing from some friends that a lot of injuries. injuries. Oh, yeah. Really? I mean, are we talking specific age range or yeah, just in older general? people 65 and older? Because they say it's great for older folks. Yes. So 
70% of the population is dehydrated. And as you get older... 75%? You, 70, sorry, my bad. But 70. Still, 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 it's a lot. And older people, we get a little bit more dried out. So we. you're not going to be... You know, I get a little more dried out. out. <laughs> we need those people out there. Uh, yeah. So they, um, you need to... You're going to be a little bit more stiff. So you want to, again, ease into it. Work in the range that helps warm it up. And that's why dynamic stretching is great. Because it brings blood flow. It's pumping the muscle for you. And drink water. That's it. And drink Obviously. tons of water. You're so good. Yes. Every Thank time you. you come, I'm like, you're so good. Yeah. Last time yeah. it was this one. I love it. I know. Yes. Doing that one at home. Karina Wu, thank you so much. Thank Check you. out these moves and more at today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.